Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming back to see another video. This one is about a nifty little device that I have right here called a carton resizer or a box resizer. And what this is gonna allow you to do is to create custom sized boxes that's gonna reduce your shipping costs and is gonna reduce your packing costs. And let me tell you why that is. If you are not using a flat rate service for shipping, then your shipping costs are gonna be determined mainly by three factors. How far is the item traveling? What is the size of the box? So what are the dimensions in terms of height, width, and length? And then what is the overall weight of the, of the package? Now that's gonna be also determined not only by the actual item that you have inside, but it's partly also gonna be determined by how much material the box is made of. So if you could come up with a way to reduce the size of the box, you could reduce your weight and you could reduce the dimension. So both of those factors together will reduce your shipping costs. And I'm also gonna show you a way how it reduce your packing costs in just a second. But let me give an example of this through an item that I just sold tonight. This is a, um, military hat it's a vintage military hat and it's sold for twenty dollars and so i'm going to ship this out and i need to find a box for it you obviously can't poly bag something like this because with the visor it would get damaged so turns out i have a perfect size box in one sense if you look at the bottom of this it fits in perfectly it's nice and snug and it's not going to move around when it's shipped so it's gonna stay in there really well. Now, of course, I would wrap this in like a little bag or something, but just for this example, I just wanna show you how this fits in here, okay? But the problem is I have all this empty space and you're gonna to wanna to do something to fill up that empty space so that the cap doesn't get dislodged and move around and possibly get damaged. So what most people would do in this situation is they would have some type of fill. Um, they might take a bunch of paper and put it in there. Now you wouldn't want to put newspaper because the ink might get through and damage the item. But what a lot of people are going to do is they're going to get these air packet bubbles and they're going to put them in here. But as you can see here, it's going to take a lot of air packet bubbles to fill up all of this space. And these air packet bubbles aren't necessarily cheap. Sure, you could get some for free that you reuse through different packages that you get in the mail through Amazon or some other source. But you're gonna have to eventually purchase these types of air packet bubbles and they add up in terms of cost. So again, what if we could find a way to reduce the size of the box, then we don't have to use as many of these air packet bubbles and we save money. So the way we do that is with this device, which is called the carton resizer. And what it basically does is it has this little lip right here that clips right onto the side of the box. And then as you can see here, there's a little hand lever that you hold and then there's a little kind of serrated um, circular knife. And what happens is you pull it along the side of the box and it will perforate it. And then you pull it along the other side, it will perforate it and you go all the way around. And so it will keep the same distance on all corners. And then you just could cut around and you could fold it down and you can make a custom size box. Now, this is actually gonna be the first time I have ever used this. I did not do a test run with it or anything. So I'm just going to show you how this would work and let's see how it works together for the first try. So I'm going to just tilt this down so you could see what happens here and what I'm doing. So I'm going to just clip this right onto the side. Okay. And I'm just going to run this along. Now, the only thing that I did before is just size it. And what you can do to size it is you just unscrew this clip right here and that will move this lever up and down. And you can see here that there's a little ruler and the ruler will um, um, tell you the length of you know exactly where you're setting things at. And by the way, just in terms of getting the weight on this, if I go over here and I put this on the scale, I'm just gonna lift this up again for a second just to check the weight beforehand and after. So the weight beforehand, let's check, is, hold on, just gonna set it. It is one pound and 0.25 ounces. So, oh, sorry, one pound, four ounces. So it's one pound, four ounces. Okay, so 
let's again go back here and put this right down. We're gonna put this right over here and I'm just gonna press it against and I'm gonna run it across and we'll see what happens. Okay. Now I'm gonna run it across this way. All right. Now I'm gonna run it across this way and you can probably see a better angle there. All right, and now I'm gonna run it across this way. Okay, so what we have here, and I'm just gonna do this one one time, this one more time. This is the first time I did it. Came across a little bit at a weird angle. There we go, that's better. So what you could see here as I turn this in is that we have these perforated edges inside. You see that right there? You got a perforated edge now, and we should be able to just pop those in once we cut the corners down. So let's try that. I'm gonna just take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut the edges down right here. A little snip right there. A little snip right here. A little snip right over here. And one more over here. And let's see how that works. This should just push right over. See that? And you got like that. Then this one will push right over and go like this. This one will push over like this. And this one will push over like this. So now, that was pretty cool for the first time using it. Now look at that. We have a custom sized box. So what I have done is I have definitely reduced the dimensions. Now I haven't reduced the weight obviously because it's the same size, but I could do that by just cutting these flaps off now and I could get a little bit of the weight off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna snip this flap off right here. Just cut right across. Now get that one off. That's gone, great. Now I could just cut this one. Awesome, it's working good. I promise I did not do a test run of this. This is the first time I have ever used this device. All right, so if it was easy like this for me to use the first time, it would be easy for you to use. I am gonna put the link to this device down low in the description section. I got it for Amazon from Amazon for I believe like $18 or something. So it was not that expensive. Shipped Amazon Prime, free shipping. So now I cut this down, cut this down, and cut this down. Now I do have a little bit of a space here, but that's okay. That's easy to deal with because all I have to do in that situation is I could just take one of these flaps and I could put it right here and then press that right over. And then all I have to do is put some tape on it, like this, just take my tape box right here. And I'm gonna open this back up again later just to put some plastic tape on it. I mean, put some uh, plastic around the hat so that it stays nice and secure in there, and nice and protected. So I could just do that just to get that flap down. And I could do that to get that flap down. And then I could, you know, just go over this way like that. Bam, just like that, nice down like that. And I could just do that. And I could just keep taping it and make sure it's nice and secure and you know, nothing's gonna happen to it. But now look at this. Now I've done several cool things. I have made a custom size box. I have reduced the size, I've reduced the dimensions. I've also reduced the weight. So let's see how much I reduced the weight by. Remember before it was one point four, uh, one pound and four ounces. So let's see what it is now. Put it on here. Now it's 1.23 ounces. Oh, not a huge um, reduction in weight, but it is some type of reduction. And there could be some situations where that takes you down to a first class level of mailing as opposed to priority. And that could really save you some money depending on where it's going. But the other cool thing is you notice now I do not have to use any of those packing materials, any of those packing bubbles. So that is packing uh, um, pillows. So that's gonna save me a lot of money there over the long run. So this cool device is going to definitely pay for itself 
and it's going to be worth it in terms of saving you in shipping and packing costs. So again, if you want to try this device out, click the link below in the description section. You could easily get it through Amazon. I do uh, make a little bit of commission off of the Amazon affiliate links and it does help support this channel. So if you buy anything at all through those links, that does help me out. I would appreciate it. If you like this video, please share it with other people. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up and click that like button. Also, make sure that you smash that uh, subscribe button, that treasure chest right there. I want you to hit that and subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed. It's real important that you subscribe because it's something I look at every day. I'm trying to get those subscription numbers up to 100 by the end of the month. That would really help me out. The other thing is that I want to tell you where I first found out about this. I found out about this device through... Uh, one of the members of um, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center, which is a group that I created uh, to ha have resellers come together and share resources and YouTube links with one another. And there was a video that was shared by one of our members, Noel Griffith, and the video was about tools of the trade for resellers. And this was the first device that was featured. And so um, I decided to, to check it out and sure enough, uh, it worked out great for me. So, um, and there were many other tools that were listed on this video. So if you want to check out that video, all you got to do is click the link down below in the description section and it will take you right to that Facebook page. Uh, or you could just search for the Reselling Resource Center right on Facebook. It'll bring you right to us. It is a closed group. All you have to do is, subs uh, is to uh, submit a join request and I will let you in if everything looks okay with your profile and you'll be all set be uh, great to have you on board. So with that, I'm going to uh, get this package together, get it shipped out and get ready to make some other videos. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye.